Hi, this is another ByteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Add Nodes extension as well as the Jitter Nodes extension. And I'm going to do that by showing you how to make a eh, pretty generic looking teddy bear, but you know, it'll, it'll look alright. So uh, we'll get started. Um, first thing that we'll do is we'll grab our ellipse tool and we'll go and make a oval. It's kind of oblong, but eh, not that much. Anyways, we'll go and we'll convert that to a path. And as you can see here, uh, our circle only has four nodes, one, two, three, four. And if we wanted to, we could, you know, twist these around with the node arms. And I'm going to press Control Z to put that back. And uh, so that's where we're at right now. <clears throat> so uh, before we uh, uh, jitter our nodes, uh, which would be kind of silly because we only have four nodes right now, We'll want um, quite a few more, so we'll go to Extensions, Modify Path, Add Nodes. Now there's two ways that uh, you can add nodes. The first way is you can add by maximum segment length, and what that is is that um, you will add nodes every two pixels. That's what the PX is here. Uh, you can add nodes every two pixels um, to your object. Now the other way that you can do it is you can click on this and you can um, add nodes by the number of segments between the nodes that are already there. And we already know that we have four, one at each of the uh, corners of our uh, oval. And so uh, we have a number of segments, our number of segments here are set to two. So what that would mean would be there would be two segments between each of our nodes here. I'll show you. Um, so if we actually applied that, we would have two segments between here and here. And so what that would essentially do is make a node right here. And I can show you real quick. That's not what we're going to want to do, but I thought I should probably show you anyway. So, okay, we'll uh, divide this up by the number of segments. So we'll hit apply. And now if we go and we click on our edit pass by nodes tool, you can see that Yes, there was two segments between here and here, and likewise here and here, and here and here, and here and here. So we got, at the midpoint basically, we got a node added at each of those uh, points. But we don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit Control Z to get rid of that, and uh, just to make sure, yeah, okay, we're back. So uh, we'll go back up to Extensions, and what we really want to do is we want to go to Add Nodes, and we want to set that max. We want to um, use a division method of by max segment length, and I do want that at two pixels per node. So we'll hit apply here, and uh, if you go to your edit pass by nodes tool, and then click on your uh, shape, and press Control and then scroll up to zoom in, you can see that yeah, you've <laughs> you got a lot of nodes here. And um, a good way you can tell that it's, you know, roughly uh, two pixels that um, each node got added was that if you select your node here, you see that our Y value um, on the grid coordinates is 720. And you go down here to this guy, and it's a 718. That's a difference of about two pixels. So it did its job. That's right. That's how it works. So all these guys are all separated from each other by two pixels. Now, what we can do now to kind of give it a little furry look is to go in and go to Extensions, Modify Path, and we can go to Jitter Nodes. And uh, what we can do here is in this area here, we can uh, move the nodes. The nodes can be automatically moved by up to three pixels from their original point that they're at, that each one of those nodes are at um, in the X direction. And uh, same with the Y. The Y, right now, the way that I have it is um, it can move up or down by as much as three pixels from its original point. And so um, uh, I have the check mark here that we, can, yes, can shift these by up to three pixels. And um, I also have it right now so that you can shift the node handles too, which is what I showed you before when I grabbed that node arm and then moved it and then the oval got kind of weird looking. Um, I'm going to 
do that real quick so you can see what that would look like. And you can see it looks kind of furry. If you zoom out, it looks a little less. Uh, it looks it looks pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, when you zoom in here, you get these weird squiggles and stuff like that. That's because if you click on um, your oval here, and then you click on Edit Pass by Nodes, you can see how these these node arms and everything got moved all around, and that's how you get these weird looking shapes like this. Um, now, if you don't want to do that, let's. Uh, I'm just pressing Control Z a few times. So, okay, we're back. Um, if you don't want to do that, which I, I really don't, I don't care for that, but I'm going to go to Jitter Nodes and I'm going to uncheck this Shift Node Handles. So what that'll do, I'll apply it, and you'll see it, it looks <laughs> it looks pretty similar, but when you get in here. It's roughly the same. I mean, because you can see these node arms are all the same. Uh, the only thing is, is that they just got moved. The nodes themselves got moved, not the node arms. And that's important to note. So, anyways, um, there we are. So we can we can consider this our uh, our bear's head. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go and press Control D to duplicate that, and I'm going to then press control and then click on this to bring that down straight down and I'm gonna rotate it by 90 degrees and uh, then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna click on this arrow here I'm gonna widen that out just a little bit here so um, next thing that I want to do um, is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna duplicate this guy again by pressing control D but I'm going to change them to a little bit of a lighter color. And then I'm just going to shrink them down just a little bit. So it's kind of like his uh, his belly right there. And that looks pretty cool. Um, next thing that we can do is, uh, well, I'm going to take the Bezier tool. And I'm going to make a, what's going to be essentially an arm here. doesn't look like it now, but that's, that's what it's going to be. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to click on this node. I'm going to press shift and I'm going to click on this node here. And then I'm going to go up to here and select make selected node smooth. So that will kind of make, uh, you know, an arm look like that. And that looks, it looks okay for now, but I, I know you're probably thinking that looks terrible. And it, it kind of does, but we're not done with it yet. So I went up and I just grabbed the ellipse tool and I made this oval here. I'm going to bring him down and I'm going to press control shift and click on that guy and size him down just a little bit. And now I can go in and I'm going to click on my add pass my nodes tool and kind of adjust how this arm looks. You know, because I want this to look a little bit better you know, kind of follow the contour of this part of the oval for the, basically this would be, I guess, the paw of the, uh, of the bear. And that looks, that I think that's decent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change this color to this guy right here. And I'm going to press shift and click on this X here to get rid of that border or that um, stroke around the shape. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go select my oval here, go up to path, and do an object to path. Now what I'm going to do is press shift and select my arm that I just made, go up to extensions, go to modify path, add nodes, and I'm going to keep it so that I'm um, dividing, dividing it up um, by segment length. So I'm going to keep that at 2, so I'm going to hit apply. And that should apply nodes every two pixels to each of these guys, and it did. You can see a whole bunch of them there now. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select both of these again, go up to Extension, Modify Path, go to Jitter Nodes, and I'm just going to hit Apply here. I'm going to use the same settings that I use for this guy, these two guys right here. So I hit Apply, and you can see they're pretty good. I'm not too thrilled with that. I'm just going to... I, th I think three might just be way too much here, so 
Let me try that again. I'm going to go and modify path, jitter nodes. Uh, I'm going to turn that down to two, a displacement of two in both the X and Y directions. Hit apply again, and that looks significantly better. That looks a lot better. In fact, I'm going to go and I'm going to select all three of these guys here by holding down shift and clicking on them. And I'm going to go to filters and remove filters. And it might take a minute or maybe it didn't work. That's interesting. Well, it doesn't want to work. So um, what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to just start all over here. And I'm going to go and make my bear's head. Object to path on it. We'll go to modify path, add nodes. We're going to add nodes every two pixels. Now I'm going to go and select them again. Go up to extensions, modify path, go to jitter nodes. And now it's at two pixels in each direction. So I'm just going to hit apply. And that's, oh, that's much better. So I'm going to hit control D now. And I'm going to press control and then select my duplicated head and bring it down here rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to fatten them up by pressing shift and holding clicking on that arrow there I think I might uh, bring that down just a touch okay um, that's decent I'm going to hit control D again and make that belly a lighter color click on this again so I got these diagonal arrows here and just bring that in a little bit that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So um, I'm going to go grab this, these two guys, and I'm just going to move them in just a little bit. And I'm going to duplicate them now, Control D, and I'm going to rotate them by clicking the Flip Selected Objects Horizontally button. Now I'm going to uh, just select these two guys. Hold control and then bring them right over. And I'm gonna hit end so that they go behind the, the belly of the of our teddy bear. And um, I'm just gonna hit control D again. I'm gonna bring this guy down and click on this again one time so that we can get the curved arrow on the corners. So that way I can rotate it about our uh, center of rotation, which is right here and uh, move it right about there, hit end, and pretty cool, and that looks good. Hit control D again, and I'm just gonna rotate him horizontally, and hit control, bring him right over, hit end, and uh, there's the basics of our teddy bear. Uh, the last thing I really need to do is work on the face. Uh, boy, I need some water. Um, what we can do is make some ears. And I swear guys, this is probably the last time I will be working on anything bear related in quite a while. This just happens to be uh, <laughs> something I thought of and it's... I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, let's select these three nodes up here and leave these two guys flat, you know, the way that they are. And we'll go in here and make them smooth. So that looks kind of like a teddy bear ear. And uh, I'm going to make that the same color as the rest of the bear. I'm going to hit shift and click on this X over here so I can get rid of that stroke. And I might make that ear just a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to go up to extensions, modify path, add nodes. We'll add our nodes again. And we'll just check to make sure that that took. Yep. So now I'll go up to extensions, modify path, jitter nodes. And we'll do that again. Very good. And now we got our ear here. Um, now I'm going to go and duplicate that guy. Control D. I'm going to make him this lighter color again. And I'm going to hit Control Shift right now and click on this diagonal arrow. Bring him down just a little bit. Okay, there's our ear. Now I'm going to hit Shift and get the rest of his ear there. We're going to duplicate that again. Control D. And I want to rotate that horizontally again. And then I'm going to press Control 
and then click on them and drag them over so that it's roughly, you know, that looks pretty good. Um, last thing we can do is we can make some eyes and I'm going to hit control shift so that they're perfect circles and that's good. I'm going to just make that a whiter color, not quite white, but and I'm going to hit control shift and kind of size that down a little bit. Actually, aren't uh, aren't teddy bear eyes usually black or brown or something like that? Yeah. I'm going to make mine uh, black. And then I'm going to go in. And now I'm not going to be doing any jittering nodes here because you don't want to really... I don't think you want to jitter nodes on an eye. I'm going to keep sizing that down a little bit. It's going to look a little funky, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so uh, let's go and we'll make this. With my duplicated eye here that I just made, size that down by pressing Control shift and manipulating this guy here. That's good. Now I'm going to take this eye again, Control D. I'm going to set him to black again. And I'm going to size them down just a touch. Ah. Uh, that might have been too much. I'm going to press Control and then scroll up to zoom in here. And I want this guy to be just a little bit there. Okay. So there's an eyeball. It's pretty generic, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Hit Control D and then hit Control to bring that straight on over. There's our eyes. <laughs> Those are pretty terrible eyes. Um, and then uh, I'm just going to make his uh, nose. Actually, their noses usually aren't round. Their noses are usually triangular or something like that. So I'll do just use my Bezier tool. There's the nose that I made. Zoom in here for you. Yeah, it's a pretty lousy looking nose, but it is going to do the job here. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go and use my Edit Pass My Nodes tool, select all these guys, smooth them out. And that's actually a pretty sweet looking nose for a teddy bear for this tutorial. And I'm going to make that nose red hit shift X there to get rid of the stroke and size that down just a little bit yeah so I, I don't know this might be looking more like an Ewok than it does a, a bear maybe not an Ewok uh, I guess I was thinking gremlins gizmo I'm gonna put I'm gonna grab this uh, no I think I'll just leave that alone Something looks funny here with this guy. But anyways, um, that's our teddy bear. It's horrendous. However, it does show you how to do, uh, this tutorial does show you how to use the add nodes and the jitter nodes, uh, which was the main goal of this. Uh, the rest of it was just to have fun and just show you what you can do with it. So, uh, well, have fun with it and uh, let me know what you can do with it. I'd, I'd like to know what you guys do. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.